After half a season in the Seba with the Pioneers, what do you think of living and playing basketball in Australia? You get first year up? Um, it's been great so far. Been here for six or uh, seven weeks, and um, it's been a good experience. Teammates are great. Um, Mount Gambier is a great city. Um, it's real laid back, and uh, I've been enjoying it so far. Um, same thing for me, kind of. Uh, I'm used to a small city in a uh, small town feel from college, so it's just been a, a pretty smooth transition, and uh, it's been a good first experience for me. How, how about the style and standard of basketball compared to college and um, overseas for you, Jarrell? Um, the style is the style is pretty uh, the same. I've been in Germany and uh, had a chance to play in Israel. But uh, it's not really that much of a difference. It's a fast pace, uh, quick offense, um, a lot of transition. So it's really not that that different, but um, it's been pretty good. Uh, for me, uh, the speed isn't much different. Uh, it's a lot more physical. I mean, uh, just the possessions, there's a lot more with the shot clock being 24 seconds. Other than that, it's not too, too much of a difference. Yeah, and this being your first professional stint, have you found the transition from college? Um, like I said, the transition for me has been pretty smooth. Uh, I got to come somewhere where uh, everybody was pretty welcoming, and uh, I think everything just kind of fell into place right away, and it fit well for my first gig. Yeah, and Jarrell, you, the second uh, overseas compared to Israel and Germany, which one's more welcoming, I guess, and which one have you preferred? Um, uh, unfortunately, I, I had to go into being uh, added to a team. Both of my uh, professional uh, uh, opportunities, but um, here it's been pretty welcoming. It's a good group of guys. Um, they, ever since my first game coming playing, it was like uh, we all gelled and they were pretty welcoming. My teammates, so um, it's been pretty cool. Right. And living with each other, we. Who's got like, a bad habit or a kind of fine they can tell about each other? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> first big? Um, I don't think there's really any uh, bad, bad habits. I mean, I couldn't have uh, uh, got a better roommate for my first gig. I mean, we, we, we jail pretty quick. I'll probably be friends with him for the rest of my life. Uh, I mean, honestly, kind of kicked it off pretty good. And we both uh, cleaned up the house pretty good and we both chip in on groceries so there's really no complaints honestly. Yeah, um, pretty much the same. Uh, Brandon's a good guy, good roommate, a uh, good teammate, better person. Uh, I learned a lot from him and uh, we kind of we kind of keep each other going. Uh, the only thing I would complain <laughs> about but I can't complain about is him getting up in the morning at 6 a.m. all the time. Um, but it's good because we, we're working, and uh, that's pretty good. All right, what about your other teammates? Any dirt on them? Any funny stories? Maybe from Maury? Maury's always a cracker. Maury's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Maury's the best, man. He's, uh, when I first got here, he was very welcoming and you know, invited me over to the house, introduced me to everybody, and uh, he's just uh, a cool, laid back guy. He's like the glue to the team. Yep. So, what about some, I know some, a story from a, a road trip or anything like that? Something that the crowd wouldn't normally get to see? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, it's actually about you. You probably don't even know. We was in Sandringham and uh, you were out in the warm ups and oh, no, I know some of the guys <laughs> put some uh, hot gel in his under, underpants and, and his clean underpants so when he changed back into it, it'll be hot. And, in his underpants, but <laughs> yeah, I figured out that halfway home. <laughs> but um, that was pretty funny, and Dallas made that prank and Dallas snitching and Dallas and Kurt. But <laughs> they were veterans and um, they're good guys too. Yep. All right. Um, are you going to take any experiences um, from the pioneers and Mount Gambier elsewhere? Or life lessons or anything you've learned? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Coach Richard Hill. Um, he uh, taught me that, you know, whenever you come into a new situation, it's better to 
you know, find a coach and uh, do some extra work with them, and it's better to get to know them that way other than outside of the court. Um, so I'm definitely going to take that and, uh, you know, use that in my upcoming jobs as far as just working out, picking out a coach and working with them individually and uh, trying to get a better relationship with the coach. Yeah. Same with me. I put in a, uh, a lot of work with Coach Hill, and uh, I feel like it's developing my game and can just only help me get better. All right, on topic of Rich, uh, is there any funny stories you got about him? Again, for the people that don't get to see behind the scenes. Coach called me Jerry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, go Jerry, Jerry. That's like my name, but <laughs> I kind of got used to it. But um, My first game, uh, I remember in the locker room, I was kind of getting used to the Australian accent, but I wasn't like completely used to it yet. And Coach was in his game mode in the very first game I had got here. And he was just going, and I was trying not to laugh just because I'm just not used to the, I wasn't used to the Australian accent yet. And he was just like, we've got to fight, and we've got to do this and that. And <laughs> I, was just, I was holding myself back from laughing at it because it was focus time. Yeah. Highlights on and off the court, obviously, some of your big dunks probably highlights on the court. But are there any other highlights that you remember outstanding on the court? We know how to stretch money. We, uh, oh, yeah. We've been stretching. We, we know how to make make our dollars go as far as they can go. <laughs> uh, we like we're we're kind of stingy with our money, so we go to the grocery store, try to get as get, get as gold, much get, as much as we can get mm -hmm. for as little as we can get. So I mean, we got, got a bunch fun. of little stories and stuff. But um, one uh, highlight I won't forget is uh, ever. Uh, it's, it's the bus trip we had. We had the beds. That we oh just yeah, had. I never rode a bus like I that. I never ever rode a bus with king size beds, and like it was just like one of the most amazing experiences I had ever on a road trip. I was like sleep the whole time, but it was pretty cool to see a bus like that, and just to be able to travel with the team. Yep, cool. Oh, for me, I mean, <laughs> off the court, uh, I think it was uh, good for us to experience. Uh, what it's like when uh, players hit their 200 games and in, our, in my first season as a professional, uh, we got to experience two of them. So that was that was kind of unique for me and cool to see Kurt and Dallas both get their 200 games. Mm -hmm. All right, as a parting message, I guess you have anything to say to the Pioneers fans? Thank you guys for the opportunity. Um, it was a great experience. Um, hopefully, you know, we have the opportunity to come out here again sometime in the near future. And uh, I want to thank this, the coaching staff, uh, our teammates, uh, you know, the, the fans, and uh, everybody that's a part of, you know, the organization and helping us trying to win. And uh, just thank, thank you guys. Um, same with me. I want to thank Tom, uh, Richard, um, just the whole Pioneers organization uh, for taking taking a uh, chance on me as as my first uh, professional gig, and uh, I want to thank my teammates and the fans. And uh, it was a great experience for my first little stint. And uh, hopefully, uh, like Terrell said, we might we, we could get a chance to come back here someday. Um, but it was a great it's a great place to be, and uh, I had a great time while I was here. Beautiful. All right. Well, one last thing before we wrap it up. We've got a bit of a kick of the foot to see if you've learned any skills about uh, sports. So Easy taught me everything I know about footy, so. Maury brought me to my first footy game.